Hello everyone, this is Umair Hassan and uh, we are going to solve practice now uh, 4 from D2 7th edition and chapter number is 1. Topic is of direct proportion and the question is that the monthly, total monthly cost that is uh, represented by C dollars of running a kindergarten consists of a fixed amount that is $5,000. Well, this is fixed amount. This uh, will be included in monthly cost each month and a variable amount and this variable amount depends on the enrollment the more the students will be the more this amount will be for every child enrolled if you enroll a child the monthly cost increases by 41 dollars 5000 is fixed cost 41 dollars per student is variable because when you will increase the number of students you have to increase the variable cost so the expression or equation for this one becomes total cost that is equal to fixed cost that is 5000 plus 41 dollars into x y into x because this is variable if your student is 1 x will be 1 if the student are 2 in number then x will be 2 so 41 into 2 will they, they, this will increase so this cost will keep on changing depending on the number of students however this one is fixed so part number one is if the enrollment is 200 if the enrollment is 200 mean number of students are 200 find the total monthly cost of running the kindergarten so the total cost will be x will be replaced by 200 the reason is that there are 200 students so x will be replaced by 200 because this is enrollment how many students are there for every one student you have to pay 41 dollars so for 200 it will be 200 into 41 plus 5000 will give you 13200 dollars part 2 is if the total monthly cost of running the kindergarten if the total monthly cost is 20580 dollars if the total cost is this one calculate the number of children enrolled in the kindergarten this is your equation this one so cost is now 20500 this is total cost that is equal to 5000 dollars the fixed cost plus 41 into x now x is the number of students enrolled so what you can do over here this will be 20580 minus 5000 is equal to 41 x from this equation and x will be 380 so 380 students will be enrolled for this case Third one is write down a formula connecting C and N where N is the number of children enrolled in the kindergarten. So this is N, number of children enrolled in kindergarten. This is a formula connecting C and N. And part D is draw the graph of C against N. Is C directly proportional to N? So let us draw the graph now. So this is the graph of uh, uh, C against N. Uh, well, C is directly proportional to N. Uh, definitely, it's not directly proportional. Uh, for directly proportional, the graph should be a straight line. Well, this graph is a straight line, but it should also pass through the origin. So, this graph is not passing through the origin. So, uh, C and N, they are not directly proportional. How I have plotted this graph? Y axis is for C, X axis is for N. When N is 1, use n1 over here c will be 5041 when n is 2 over here c will be 5082 when n is 3 c will be 5123 so x axis is for n while y axis is for c cost so i have plotted these respective values this ordinate is 1 on x axis and 5041 on y axis this one is 2 on x axis and 5082 on y axis this is 3 on x axis and 5123 on y axis so uh, in this way you can plot the graph secondly for directly proportional uh, it says that uh, the ratio of uh, n to c must be constant or the ratio of c to n c divided by n must be constant c over n 5041 c over n is not 5041 in this case in this case 
c divided by n is 5041 in this case it is not 5041 so the ratio of c to n must be equal to k a constant well that is also not visible over here so the graph is not and the c and n sorry they are not directly proportional so this is the answer for this part so keep watching thank you so much